Let's start off by distributing what's inside the parentheses. We're going to start off with 1 plus cotangent squared theta minus the cosecant squared theta minus cosine squared theta times cotangent squared theta equals 1. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to split these up and I'm going to put the 1 minus the cosine squared theta together. So I'm going to get 1 minus cosine squared theta. And then I'm going to group this cotangent squared theta with this other term here. So I'm going to get cotangent squared theta minus cosecant squared, excuse me, cosine squared theta times cotangent squared theta equals 1. Now what I can do here, this is a trig identity. This is equal to sine squared theta plus, and I can pull out of this, of this function, or this inside this parentheses, a cotangent squared theta. I can pull out that, and I get 1 minus cosine squared theta. And this is the trig identity sine squared theta. So I get sine squared theta and sine squared theta plus cotangent squared theta. But I'm going to convert this to cosine squared theta over sine squared theta. These sine squareds cancel out. You get sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. And this is equal to 1. So there, that's how you prove your trig identity.